Hi, and welcome back to Bean Talk. As you can see in the background, we once again have the beautiful fine Mina with us here. On popular request, we're gonna make a little deep dive video with the fine Mina and show you all the features and what it can do. Okay, so first of all, let's just make an espresso because that's what the machine is built for. So the coffee I'm brewing right now is from Nomi, which is a roastery in Vienna. And they made a phenomenal Kenyan espresso. It's amazing. Okay, so talking about the features of the Fire Mina. Of course, we have this nice screen on there which you can also use for setting the machine, the recipes and everything. So you can go into the menu and change pretty much everything on there. We can change the recipes, which is really cool. Um, you can even change the pre-infusion there. So if you're wondering about the pre-infusion and the pre-infusion system of Faema, then you can check out one of our older videos with Filippo. We're gonna link it somewhere up in one of the corners. You can change the dose of the coffee. So how much water goes into your cup and the pre-infusion in the two settings, the blooming phase and the actual pre-infusion. So much for that. Um, what is also really cool in case you have some larger cups, you can actually move the drip, drip tray very easily. So you have these two positions which also comes in super handy for another really cool feature of the Faemina um, because we can not only make espresso but we can also make filter coffee. For this purpose we have from Mindful Design a very nice ceramic filter set that you can place underneath um, with regular Kalita filters. So just regular Kalita filters. And then let's just drain it. Of course, we have a hot water dispenser as well. And then we just need some filter coffee. Lucky for us, the coffee from Nomi is also amazing as a filter. Almost done. So we've got our filter set with coffee ready to go. And as you can see, we have down here, we have our pour over button for the Faimina that is programmed for the pour over, of course. And so you might wonder, aren't there some residuals from the espresso or something on there? But no, the Faimina has a nano coated um, shower screen. So you shouldn't really have much of any coffee sticking on there so which is perfect for a pour over of course and yeah so just gonna place it underneath and then press the pour over button and so the machine actually does a little blooming phase as well that you can also set you can set pretty much everything you can set the total dose you want on there you can set the blooming phase, how much water you want in the blooming phase, how long the blooming phase. So I set it for 300 milliliters of water. Um, the blooming is with 30 grams of water and 30 seconds. So as you can see now, after 30 seconds, the actual pouring starts. And then you can even set how many intervals you want it to pour. So yeah, you can do all of that, which is pretty cool. I can tip my espresso while I'm waiting for the pour over. Still amazing. And so again, while this is pouring, we can talk about some of the other features 
So this has, of course, it's dual boiler. We have um, a boiler just for the steam. And then we have a boiler here for the hot water of the brew group itself, for the delivery group. Meaning that, of course, you have always have a very nice steam pressure, even though this boiler is well insulated, so it doesn't consume too much energy at home. All right, it's done now. So now we just have to wait a little for the water to completely pass through and then we can try our coffee. And one thing you can also do, you can not only make a pour over, but you can also make tea. So you actually have also for tea um, a dispenser here, which is super nice, but then it's just gonna pour of the water at once as you need for tea. It's done. It smells amazing. Good stuff. Now, of course, we've established that it makes a phenomenal espresso and a phenomenal filter coffee. But so, of course, for all you milk drinkers out there, we wanna test the steam one and how you can steam your milk with it. We have <laughs> here our little steam wand, which is super cool because it's a cool touch. So I can actually steam and touch it while doing so. I'm not gonna burn myself. And we have, so we have down here, we have a steam flush kind of position. And then for steaming, two positions. So one with a little less and one with more steam coming out. Let's steam some milk. And of course we want to taste it as well. Mm. Really good. I think we've covered pretty much all of the coffee drinks you could make with the Faimina. So you can make a phenomenal espresso. You can make um, even a pour over with the machine and the steam one, yeah, it's perfect, works like with a professional machine and you basically have all of the features you would have with like a E71 or Faima President for example. Okay, so let's also briefly talk about the design. I mean, I think you can all see that the machine looks really amazing. And yeah, there's, but also there's a couple of kind of cool features coming with the design. Of course, we just talked about the drip tray that you can change your height from very easily and then also the steam one you have here in the drip tray you have this little hole where you can actually put the steam one just in and use it for flushing that way you don't spray yourself with water as would have with some other machines and yeah just goes in there also with the tea water you have a hole in there if for some reason you just want to dispense the hot water directly into your drip tray there's no spraying around of water and so on yeah, so you can also, of course, very important nowadays, you can also connect it via app with the BFAM app, and you can actually set all the settings um, through the app. So if you wanna customize your recipes, customize the buttons for what they do, you can do that. You can change the temperature of the machine, um, of the brew group, steam pressure, and everything. Oh, and one more thing, almost forgot about that. What is really cool, because we all of course know water is a crucial part um, for making great coffee. And we have a water tank down here, which is super nice. If you have like a kitchen with cabinets up top, you can just take it out. And we actually have a water filter inside so that you can just open up the water tank, pour the water on top, and then it gets filtered. 
because of course we need the water to be filtered and if you don't have a filter installed somewhere at home you can just really easily put it down there and also the machine you can set um, the filter when you change it and how much water goes through and so the machine actually tells you when you need to change the filter so it really has so much small details that make it so much easier to work with um, and a great pleasure so yeah that's the Faimina and Faim if you hear this I would like to have one of these machines at home yeah no it's really it's an amazing machine it's I couldn't think of a better home machine right now that's it for today that's our Faima Faimina I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please hit the like and subscribe button it would mean a lot to us and yeah until then drink loads of good coffee and see you next time bye